Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to weed and apply vinyl. I found this cute little trash can at Dollar Tree, so I'm going to put a vinyl decal on it. I'm going to measure how big my design can be and start creating in Cricut Design Space. I'll be using this weeding tool I found, which I have available through my Cricut Access images, and I'm just going to add text to it. You want to make sure you group and attach your text together so that it cuts out just the way you see it on the screen. I have two colors I'll be using and I'll set my material to premium vinyl. Now one vinyl I have is actually glossy and you'll see later how it didn't cut out very well so make sure you know what kind of vinyl you have. If it's glossy you'll want it to cut a little deeper pressure. I'm using the blue light grip mat and prepping two mats with both vinyl pieces. I didn't have green so I chose this pretty pink instead. When I remove my vinyl, I always peel the mat away to prevent the rest of the vinyl sheet from bending. It's kind of hard to see the white, but if you put it up against the light, you'll be able to see it better. I'm going to cut around my images so that it's easier to weed. Now it's time to weed vinyl. I like to take the piece around the image away first, and this glossy white is really hard and it didn't cut through, so I'm going to take my time by pushing it a little bit where the cut lines are and trying to work work the back piece off. You can see I'm just gently pushing it down. I don't want to stab it and make a hole, but I'm just pushing around the line so that it'll pop out and it seems to be working. Next, you'll want to weed out any pieces in the letters or design. This one is going to be easier since there's only two pieces and the vinyl did cut all the way. Now we're going to grab our transfer tape. This transfer tape is from the Dollar Tree and I really like it since it's not too sticky like the Cricut brand. We're going to cut enough to transfer the entire design at once. Now I'm going to peel back the sticky side away from the backing of my transfer tape and you're going to figure out your placement and start transferring your image. You can use your finger but I would also suggest using something like a scraper or a credit card and lightly scrape on each side front and back of your design. Once you're done, you'll start to peel back the backing of the vinyl sheet. If your design did not transfer well, then go back and scrape again until it does. Mine turned out really well, and this is why I really do love this Dollar Tree transfer tape. Now for my second piece, you'll want to be careful when you're applying the transfer tape to your vinyl. Mine stuck to it before I could get my placement right, so just take it slow and try to get it as straight as you can. Now your complete design should be on one piece to transfer. Before putting my vinyl on, I'm going to clean the surface with a little bit of rubbing alcohol. After it's dry, we'll place our design on the surface and use our scraper again to lightly press down on the design. Thank you. 
Once you're done, slowly pull away the transfer tape, but you'll notice not everything transferred right away, so I'll go back and use my scraper in the areas where it's not coming off. And there we go. I always save my transfer tapes since it can be used over and over again. Just put it on the backing and save it for later. That is how you weed and apply vinyl. If you have any tips, please leave a comment below. I'd love to know and I'll see you next time.